Welcome to another episode of Terry's Notes and today we are going to be looking at the preparation of some gases in the lab. Now there are several factors that we need to consider when preparing gases. First thing that we need to consider is whether you want to collect a dry sample of the gas or not. Second thing that we need to consider is if the gas is soluble in water. For example, ammonia gas is very soluble in water. Um, the third factor is what method should we use to collect the gas. And the fourth factor is the gas dangerous or not. Because if we are preparing a gas that is dangerous, we need to do it in a fume cupboard. Okay, now let's speak about certain types of um, collection methods. So this first method here is called the downward displacement, downward delivery or the upward displacement of air. Um, if we have a dense gas that is entering here, the dense gas will sink to the bottom and it will displace air upwards. Right, so that is why we say the upward displacement of air or downward delivery. In the second collection method, we have the what is called upward delivery or downward displacement of air. So if we have the gas entering here and the gas is less dense than air, the gas is going to collect up here and air is going to be displaced downwards right and this two collection method is simply to collect a moist sample of the gas so if you have a gas entering here the gas is going to be collected in this region here right this region here and the gas will be a moist sample Now, there are several drying agents that we use um, to dry gases. We have silica gel, and you should be familiar with silica gel. Um, sometimes when you buy a new shoes, a new pair of shoes, you see this little packet that is there. So an another drying agent is calcium oxide. We also have anhydrous calcium chloride and concentrated sulfuric acid. So these are four typical drying agents you will encounter. Okay, so let's look at the preparation of oxygen gas. So you need to be familiar with this diagram and what are our reagents? So concentrated hydrogen peroxide is dropped slowly from a tissel funnel into a flask containing manganese dioxide. So we have hydrogen peroxide in the tissel funnel and we have manganese dioxide in this container here. So as you hydrogen peroxide reacts with the manganese dioxide we have oxygen gas being produced and water being produced right the hydrogen peroxide is decomposing to produce oxygen and water and in this case sorry producing oxygen and water so in this case we have the oxygen gas being collected here right so we get a moist sample of oxygen gas so if dry oxygen is required and then the gas is passed through a U-tube filled with anhydrous calcium chloride. So what we do is we have a tube like this. All right, so we have the oxygen gas entering here and we have the O2 gas coming out here. But in this YouTube, we have calcium chloride. So you have CaCl2 
as the drying agent. So if we want a dry sample, we use calcium chloride cl calcium chloride as the drying agent. All right. How do we prepare ammonia gas? All right. In order to prepare ammonium ammonia gas, an ammonium salt is warmed with an alkali. All right. You need to remember this equation. So two NH four Cl plus CaOH taken twice produces CaCl two plus two H two O plus two NH three. So you have ammonium chloride reacting with calcium hydroxide to produce calcium chloride, water, and ammonia gas. Now, ammonia gas is less dense than air, so and this is the you need to uh, need to remember this diagram again. So we have solid calcium hydroxide and ammonium chloride, and we apply heat to it, and what we get is ammonia gas being produced. And in order to dry the ammonia gas, we use calcium oxide as a drying agent. You need to remember the drying agent for calcium oxide, right? And ammonia is collected by upward delivery, right? Now we cannot use sulfuric acid or calcium chloride as the drying agent for ammonia. Why? Because the sulfuric acid will react with ammonia because ammonia is a base and it will react with sulfuric acid. Calcium chloride will also react with ammonia. So the drying agent we typically use is calcium oxide. How do we prepare carbon dioxide gas? Now carbon dioxide is prepared by ad adding dilute hydrochloric acid to marble chips, right? And we're talking about calcium carbonate here. So we have calcium carbonate in a flask here, and we are adding hydrochloric acid. And we need to familiarize ourselves with this equation. So we have hydrochloric acid plus calcium carbonate produces calcium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. If you remember from the acid base video an acid plus a carbonate produces a salt water and carbon dioxide right and carbon dioxide is denser than air so the collection method here is downward delivery right and if we wanted to get a dry sample of carbon dioxide we use anhydrous calcium chloride as a drying agent so we've looked at preparation of oxygen gas, ammonia gas, and carbon dioxide. So you need to remember the reagents, you also need to remember the drying agents, and the method of collection of the gas. Now, how do we test for gases? Now in the laboratory, you are going to have several experiments over your two year period, and you need to be able to test for certain gases. So the test for oxygen gas, if we have a test tube and we have oxygen gas and we put a glowing splint, right, which is just a very tiny piece of wood that is glowing red hot, it will relight. So oxygen gas will relight a glowing splint. If we were to take a lighted splint and place it in hydrogen gas we are going to get a squeaky pop right so it's very audible and you will know it's hydrogen gas to test for carbon dioxide we use lime water I want you to avoid using the word lime water and use it to calcium hydroxide right so if we bubble carbon dioxide through calcium hydroxide, what we are going to get is a white precipitate. So carbon dioxide plus calcium hydroxide produces calcium carbonate plus water. The white precipitate is really carbon dioxide, um, calcium carbonate, sorry, right? Now, if we continue to bubble carbon dioxide through the solution, 
the white precipitate dissolves right and what we are getting is calcium hydrogen carbonate right now these are typical examination questions here so carbon dioxide when it bubble when it's bubble through calcium hydroxide you're going to get a white precipitate initially and the white precipitate is calcium carbonate you need to know this equation if you continue to bubble more carbon dioxide what is going to happen is that the precipitate will dissolve right and the equation for that reaction is calcium carbonate plus water plus co2 produces calcium hydrogen carbonate right and how do we test for ammonia gas well ammonia gas has a pungent smell it's very noticeable and it is also colorless but how do we test for it what we do we take moist red litmus and it will, it will turn blue okay so white fumes of ammonium chloride are produced in the presence of concentrated hydrochloric acid